What the hell? What the actual hell, Square Enix? Oh my goodness, this can't be real. Guys, what's up? My my freaking camera doesn't work. It's broken. Everything's breaking on my channel, but that's not important. What is important is Square Enix just sold the Tomb Raider franchise and a bunch of other franchises to a company that doesn't even make video games. That's right. That's right. You heard it here. And I'm certain you probably saw the news because Crystal Dynamics, the guys that made the awesome Tomb Raider reboot, the trilogy that I absolutely love and adore, they are no longer going to be a part of Square Enix. But it doesn't just stop at Tomb Raider. Uh, Sleeping Dogs is another franchise that will be gone. Thief, the stealth games, those will be gone. Deus Ex is going to be gone. I mean, there's about 50 plus games and franchises that are going to be gone. I'm certain the internet has already put up a list of all of them that are going bye-bye, but this is real, this is actually happening. And here's the worst thing about this. You ready for this? The reason why they did this was to A, to get out of debt because apparently they were hurting for money, which isn't a surprise, but I'll talk about that in a second. And B, so they could get into Bitcoin and NFTs and cloud service gaming more. To sum it up, Square Enix, who has been making terrible, terrible business decisions for the last few years now, is attempting to rectify this by not making quality, well-polished titles like Babylon's Fall, that's a that's a joke, guys, that's a joke, but by selling you fake products like NFTs, by investing in Bitcoin, and by trying to scam you out of more money through microtransactions. That is Square Enix's solution to their problems, and they sold Tomb Raider to fix it all. I think the worst thing about all of this, though, is the amount of money that they sold all of these IPs and franchises and studios and 1,100 employees, by the way, is they sold it. You would think with franchise like Tomb Raider and Deus Ex and all of these that it would be maybe upwards towards a billion dollars or something, but no, they sold it for a staggering low number of only $330 million. That's it. These are franchises that are worth and because it's franchises are worth well more than that, but they sold it for only that much, saying that these franchises in Square's mind are just not worth that much, which is insane. It's utterly insane. Who sells Tomb Raider for such a low amount? And it gets worse. It just keeps getting worse. They sold it to Embracer Group. And you're probably asking yourself, who is Embracer Group? To which I have to say, exactly. Tell me, guys. Name the one big, huge game that Embracer Group created that you know of. Go ahead. I'll be here all day. You'll have to Google type it. Because they don't make video games. It's just a bunch of random millionaires that like to gobble up stuff. That's it. Embracer Group doesn't make video games. And if they are going to try getting into the video game business, you can bet your sweet rear end that they're probably going to be the type of people, since they don't know video games, that are just going to give you microtransaction, mobile games, you know, cloud service, maybe more battle passes. All that good stuff is probably what's going to happen. So, uh, this sucks so much. I think the most infuriating thing about this is it's because Square Enix hasn't been able to produce quality games. They've just been making, for the most part, terrible products and just really underbaked products. Chocopo GP Racing, for example, had a decent racing mechanic, had a decent time playing it, but then they stuffed it with six different versions of coins and stuff and microtransactions and season passes galore that I immediately uninstalled it. Then you have games like Babylon's Fall, which tanks so hard that there are literally less than 20 people right now playing that game. Then you have other games too, like Balin, Wonderworld, Wonderland, whatever that stupid game was called that they spent all this money in and that was a total flop as well. I mean, it's just, even, even the Chrono Cross remaster that just came out, literally it performs worse than the PS1 version. You can play this on the PlayStation 5. The PlayStation 5 version performs worse than the original. I mean, what the hell? <laughs> so Square, my final suggestion to you is 
if you really want to try to be profitable, if you really want to continue making money, here's the thought. Create quality products that your consumer, which is us, the gamers, will want to play and we will buy it. Games like Triangle Strategy, for example, is one of the outliers that came out this year. And from what I've played, it's been a very quality-esque experience. It's been very good. I spent 60 bucks on it. It's been a good product so far. I haven't finished it by any means, but it is a nice product and it is selling well. It's sold over a million units, which is pretty dang good for a strategy RPG. If you make a quality product, you won't have to sell Tomb Raider and all these other franchises because people will spend money on them because they know it's a quality product. But with the way you're going right now, you're going to go bankrupt because nobody's going to care about Kingdom Hearts 4 if it's going to be filled with microtransactions and season passes and NFTs. And the same goes for Final Fantasy 16, which I'm still scared about because I would not be surprised to see you try something like that. If you want people to continue supporting your business, the solution is simple. Give us a reason to support your business. And I hate to break it to you, Square, but we don't care about NFTs. We don't care about microtransactions. We don't care about your stupid business model right now. You are, and excuse my language, you are shit. You are literally shit right now. I would rather support EA or Ubisoft than you as it stands because of how pathetic you've been over the last two years. Fix this and fix it now. This concludes my random rant, guys. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to listen to me. Um, oh, I'm so scared. Really, I'm worried about the future of Tomb Raider. I love that franchise immensely, and I just feel like... I feel like all hope is lost at this point for that one. So it hurts me. It cuts me deeply. Um, gosh, I'm sorry. I'm just, I still can't believe this happened. It's, it's, it's a bad day for me. All right, guys. Thank you so much for taking time to watch this. I'm Bradley Overrated. I like a trout. Let's hope for something good here in the future. <laughs> uh.